Israel's general elections are closer than ever and days before the crucial vote, thousands of Israelis have taken to the streets to protest against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's policies and premiership. Local reports suggest that over 20,000 protesters gathered at the Paris Square close to Netanyahu's official residence. The protesters waved flags and carried posters about the need for a, quote, revolution. The angry protesters shouted, Bibi, go home. We are here to protest against Netanyahu and his corrupted government. This is our last chance before the election. I came to speak and protest about the situation when uh, the government is uh, probably going to win this election. And uh, somebody needs to, to stop this because uh, the, uh, the government will be worse than it used to be. And uh, the people must vote differently. I'm here to overthrow Benjamin Netanyahu. We have been here since the summer expecting it to be better in Israel. Israel has been witnessing weekly anti-establishment protests since last year. But the Saturday protests were the largest since the beginning of the demonstrations. The protesters demand Prime Minister Netanyahu's resignation over the alleged corruption scandals and mishandling of the pandemic. Netanyahu has been in power for the last 12 years in Israel and the leader hopes to retain his seat in the Tuesday vote. Now, one thing to note here is Benjamin Netanyahu is the first Israeli Prime Minister to be indicted in office for corruption and bribery. However, Netanyahu has denied any wrongdoing. Israel is set to hold its fourth snap election next week. Since the collapse of Netanyahu's centre-right-wing coalition, the streets and the series of elections have been going on since April 2019. But the winning parties have failed to form a stable government in Israel. Experts say that Netanyahu's Likud party is once again likely to emerge as the biggest player. But opinion polls have not suggested a clear winner yet. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.